Dear grade 12 students, welcome. Today our presentation will be for English 219 Fiction. Before I'll proceed further, I would like to ask you to bring your textbook, pencil, pen, notebook, and even your dictionary because you might need it. And have yourself comfortably seated. Today, our objectives will be to identify the elements of a fiction, to relate the elements of fiction to a short story, to describe the characteristics and the characters of a story, to organize a set of events according to a story timeline. So first of all, I would like to ask you a question. What is fiction? When, when someone tells you, I'm reading a fiction story, what fiction means? Fiction is a story that is based on an imaginary event or people. So there is nothing real. It's not based on real people or facts. The whole thing is imaginary. The elements of a fiction. There are four main elements of a fiction, which is the plot, the characters, conflicts, and setting. And these elements are not only for fiction. They're also used for any other genres of writing. Now, any author or any writer who's trying to tackle uh, and write a story that's accurate, he or she has to tackle these four elements through answering another four questions. So the questions usually are, what is the story, the line or the plot? Who are the main characters? What is their relationship? Where is the set or where is it set? By answering these questions, he's actually even answering, he or she are answering the elements of a fiction. Now, what I want you to do, keeping in mind what we just said, note them down, do write them down, the four elements, the plot, the characteristics, the setting, the conflicts, and the four questions, bearing that in mind, I want you to read this paragraph or this short story and I want you to note down the important points because we will be referring to it in the upcoming slides. Um, I'll give you about three minutes to read the slides or to read the story.
Let's read it all together again. The Blunder and the King. Sometime long ago, in a far away kingdom, there was once a wise king who was ready to stop being the king. So he ordered some workers to roll a large blunder onto the road that led through town. Then the king hid nearby and watched to see if anyone would move the huge rock from its place in the road. This person would become king. The first man to pass, uh, the first man to pass by was the city's wealthiest person. He bitterly complained that he was too rich to have a blunder in his way. He walked around the blunder, he shouted. I must let the king know how angry I am. Soon, the town's smartest person came to the blunder in the road. She complained loudly that the king should do a better job of keeping the roads clear. Then she too walked around the blunder. Finally, a farmer came along, carrying a load of vegetables. As soon as he arrived at the blunder, he set down his vegetables and tried to move the rock. Other people might need to use this road, the farmer said to himself. If I can move it, then I should do so. After much hard work, the farmer finally succeeded in rolling the blunder off the road. He then noticed a hole where in the blunder where the blunder had been. Inside the hole was a box. The farmer opened the box to find the king's crown and a note. The note read, for your hard work and for caring about others, you are now the king. Now, after reading the story, remember the four elements of the fiction. Let's start by analyzing the setting. So, what is a setting? A setting is usually a set of time. So we're talking here, we're referring to a time and a place. For any short story or for any story in general, usually it's in the beginning of the story. But there are certain stories or there are different stories in which the timeline keeps changing. So the reader, he or she while reading, has to be careful to follow the setting in order to follow the timeline. Let's see and find out where the setting was in the bounder and the king. Now, let's analyze the elements of the story together. So, the first element that we're going to talk about is the setting. When we say the setting, we mainly refer to the time and the place. For every story or event or a film that you're watching, there is a setting. Usually, the setting comes in the beginning of the story. But for certain books or certain novels, the um, sequence of the se setting changes along with the time. So when we're talking about a setting, the reader has to be very careful to follow the sequence of the time because the author might change it. But in the short stories, it's usually mentioned in the beginning. So getting back to our story, which was the blunder and the king, let me ask you, what was the setting of the story? It was in the very beginning. What is the setting of the blunder and the king? The time and the place. Think and note it down. I'll give you 30 seconds to do that. So time is up, let's check the answers. What is the setting of the story, time and place? Referring to the text, 
sometime long ago. That's the time. In a faraway kingdom is the place. Now, moving on to the second element, which is character. The character, when we talk about a character, it is the person or a thing that is, that, that is having a role in the story. So he is the one that is representing and playing a major role in the story. It can be a person, an animal, or a thing, as long as he or she are having a main role or it is having a role in the story. Now, in the character, there is also a characteristics. So usually while reading, you have to pay attention to the characteristics of the character. Sometimes in some stories, it's directly mentioned. In others, it's hidden. So the reader has to be paying attention to the hidden messages. Now, for example, for the bounder and the king, there were four main characters. So what I want you to do is, I want you to recall the four characters and give me the characteristics of that ca character with the evidence. What do I mean? For example, the king. The characteristics, wise and clever. Why did I say he is wise and clever? Because from the text, he chose the next king in a very clever way by placing a bounder in the middle of the road and finding the person who has enough sense of responsibility to move on. So again, the direct message describing the characteristics of the character was very clever, whereas the wise was embedded by telling you that he created a, a, con a, a, a problem and then whoever is going to uh, provide a solution for that problem, he or she will be the king. Similarly, I want you to write about the other three characters, their characteristics and the evidence. I'll give you two minutes to do that. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to remember the characteristics of the plot or of the short story that we just read. Try to note them down. We talked about four main characters. And what I want you to do is that I want you to think about their characteristics. Remember what I said earlier in the previous slide, that the characteristics, some of the messages are direct. So they will tell you a direct and in that directly that this king is clever, for example, whereas in the other characters, it's mentioned uh, through his behavior. So this is the indirect. Uh, and I want you to also provide an evidence with an example from the story, if you can recall. For example, the king, wise and clever. 
He chose the next king in a very clever way by placing a blunder in the middle of the road and finding the person who has enough sense of responsibility to move it. So the direct characteristics was mentioned the next king in a very clever way. Whereas wise by creating the conflict. So he created a problem and whoever is going to solve that problem, he or she will be the king. So he chose it wisely. Based on that, the characteristics was wise and clever. Similarly, I want you to write the other three characters and the, their characteristics with evidence. If you remember the evidence, or at least just write what you remember that, that, is, um, that could be chosen as, or that could be written as a proof of what you read. I'll give you two minutes to do that. Now, let's check the answers. The wealthiest person, the characteristics, arrogant. Why did we say that he is arrogant? Because he bitterly complained that he was too rich to have a blunder in his way. The other character, the town's the smartest person, and responsible, no sense of intuitive, because she refused to remove or to move the blunder. Last but not least, the farmer, because he showed that he was responsible, caring, and hardworking. How? He worked very hard to move the blunder because other people might need to use this road. Moving on, the third element is a plot. The plot refers to um, the events of the story in general, the beginning, the conflict, and the resolution, uh, which is solving the problem. So the plot is kind of when you summarize the whole story to your friend. So for example, when I'm telling you, what is the story about? What he or she, the person would be telling me, is the plot. They will summarize the entire thing to me. Okay. Now, what I want you to do here is, since we are talking about the plot, I want you to reorder the events that are mentioned here according to the timeline. I'll give you two minutes to do that. Read them and reorder them. Now, let's check your answers all together. So, in the beginning, the king decides to step down and puts a blunder in the middle of the road to see who will be the future king. Middle, the wealthiest and the smartest person in town did not remove the blotter, and then the farmer seems, sees the huge blotter. Ending, the farmer removes the blotter 
and finds the note from the king that he would be crowned the next king. Now, this is very easy. I'm expecting all of you to get it correct. Let's move on. Conflict. Conflict, in short, it is the problem. So if there is no conflict, there is no plot. So here, it's the suspense. It is something that a person struggles to overcome. Now, when we talk about conflicts, there are two types of conflicts, the internal and the external. The internal conflict is usually when a person is having a problem and he or she is debating it between himself or herself. Whereas the external is when I'm having a problem with another person. Keeping that in mind, I want you to read the two extracts and identify which one is the internal conflict and which one is the external conflict. I'll give you two minutes to read it. Time is up. Let's check the answers. So, there is an internal conflict when the king's mind, because, within the king's mind, because he needs to find a new king and he doesn't know who to choose to succeed him. So here is the internal conflict. He's thinking, he's having a problem, he's talking with himself. The extract too, there is an external conflict between the wealthy person and the king because the former expressed anger against the king for outing the blotter on the way. It's external. So the wealthy person is having a problem with the king. Now, since we went through the four main elements of the plot, keeping them in mind, I want you to recall them. And I, for further practice, we're going to read this. But before we read it, remember, the elements, the plot, the characteristics, the setting, and the conflict. Keeping these four main elements in mind, I would like you to read this short story for further practice. Um, I'll give you around two minutes. Start. Remember, note down the answers that you think, or note down the things that you might think that they're the answers for later on. Now let's read it all together. One by one, the kids in Chorizo class stood up and told about a special talent. Everyone would take a pot. Soon it was Chorizo's turn. He glooped and then told his class that he was a good juggler and could juggle three balls 
at a time. Then the class asked uh, Orcho to juggle. No problem, said Orcho, but there was a problem. Orcho could not juggle. Last year, his big brother, Yoshi, tried to teach Orcho to juggle, but Orcho found it too hard to do. Orcho worried before remembering that he was a year older now. Maybe I can do better, he thought. I will get Yoshi to help me try again. Sure enough, it worked. Juggling was easier now. Three weeks later, Orcho and Yoshi put on a show for the class. Yoshi did the tricky stuff. No one noticed that Orchi did only the simple tricks. The class thought Orchi was great. Now, answer the questions below. Remember to note them down. Now, since we read the entire story, there is a set of questions that I would like you to answer. Again, I'll give you three minutes to answer the questions. Read them and try to answer them based on the reading that you just read. Let's read the questions together. Who is the main character? What is the problem? What is the main conflict in the story? What idea helped with the solution? What was the solution? How can you des describe the main character's personality? What is the moral of the story? Now, 
Let's check your answers all together. The main character is Orcho. The problem is that Orcho could not juggle. The main conflict in the story is internal. Internal, that means Orcho pretend, pretends that he can juggle, but in reality, he can't. And he doesn't know what to do to avoid being embarrassed in front of the class or in front of his classmates. So here, it's internal. He had a problem between himself. Number four. Orcho decides to seek help from his brother. Five, Orcho and his brother performed the show together, but the brother, brother did all the tricky stuff and nobody noticed that Orcho could not juggle well. Six, Orcho has a weak personality because he did not say the truth regarding his talent. Seven, the moral of the story tells us that we must be ourselves and never lie to people to avoid being embarrassed. Have faith in yourself and respect your talent, whatever small it was. I hope you got the answers correct. There might be a change in the answers. For example, certain people might not view him as a weak personality. They might view him as someone who kept trying. Uh, some people might view that he kept constant and the moral can be uh, seen by other people that he kept trying till he succeeded because he was training three weeks before that. So the answers here are not fixed. They can be changeable. Thank you for paying attention and see you soon.